Hello, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Have you ever found yourself staring at that outdated computer, long out of warranty, and wondering if there's any life left in it? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. Installing a lightweight Linux distribution tailored for older, low-powered hardware can give a new lease on life to your forgotten tech relics. Today, we present our top 5 recommendations that not only salvage old hardware but also make it usable and efficient. To find the best suited Linux distributions for older hardware, we subjected them to rigorous testing on our trusty Acer Aspire E5. While not the newest model, it serves as a representative sample of the kind of hardware many users may have tucked away. We meticulously timed the boot-up process and desktop usability for each distribution, ensuring a comprehensive evaluation. Now, let's dive into the details of our first pick. First up, we have Linux Lite, a stalwart in the Linux community since 2012. Aimed at novice users and those transitioning from Windows, Linux Lite boasts a sleek XFC desktop. With minimum requirements of a 1 GHz processor, 2 or more cores, 768 MB RAM, and an 8 GB hard drive, it strikes a balance between lightweight and feature-rich. The 2.4 GB download file includes essential pre-installed software like Thunderbird, GIMP, VLC, and LibreOffice, making it an excellent choice for those venturing into the Linux world. Moving on, we have Bode Linux, making its debut in 2011. Known for its minimalist approach, Bode offers both a basic and an app pack ISO. Opting for the standard ISO, a 1.2 GB download, introduces users to the Moksha desktop environment. Moksha, based on Enlightenment, provides a vibrant and polished look, allowing users to customize their experience. Despite minimal pre-installed applications, Bode Linux encourages freedom and personalization for a tailored user experience. Let's shift our focus to Bunsen Labs Linux, emerging from the shadows of CrunchBang in 2015. This distribution employs a customized open-box window manager, delivering a stable and resource-friendly interface. The latest version, Beryllium, based on Debian 11 Bullseye, offers impressive speed and intuitiveness. With a 1.5 GB download, Bunsen Labs is well-suited for Linux-savvy users seeking efficiency. It injects vitality into old hardware, proving that performance doesn't always come at the cost of resources. Now, onto the distribution with the quirky name, Q4OS. Based on Debian Linux 12.2 Bookworm, Q4OS offers the choice between the Plasma desktop or its own Trinity desktop environment, a fork of KDE version 3. Opting for Trinity, the 1.1 GB download brings a somewhat retro yet surprisingly pleasant desktop experience. With minimum requirements of a 350 MHz CPU, 256 MB RAM, and a 3 GB disk, Q4 OS presents itself as a lightweight option delivering a stable and well-supported Debian experience. Last but certainly not least, we have Zubuntu, an official flavor of Ubuntu. Utilizing the XFC desktop, Zubuntu provides the full Ubuntu treatment with a lighter desktop. The 2.83 GB download may take a bit longer, but it's well worth it for the accessible interface and comprehensive package selection. With minimum requirements of 1 GB of RAM and an 8.6 GB hard drive, Zubuntu caters to newcomers to Linux, offering a smoother transition into the open source world.
As we conclude our Linux exploration, it's crucial to acknowledge the positive impact of extending the life of old hardware. With Windows 10 support ceasing in 2025, millions of PCs could end up in landfills, contributing to environmental issues. Let's be mindful of our tech choices and consider repurposing these devices by installing Linux. In the spirit of reduce, reuse, recycle, we can contribute to a greener and more sustainable tech future. And there you have it, folks. A detailed journey through five Linux distributions that can revive your old hardware. If you found this exploration informative, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more in-depth content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay tech-savvy and breathe new life into those aging computers with the power of Linux. Cheers!